Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a full body Pilates workout for beginners. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start today's class in a seated position. So cross your legs and sit up nice and tall or take whichever seated position feels best for you. Then place your hands onto your ribs. On your inhale, let your ribs expand sideways into your hands. Then exhale, draw your ribs in towards each other and down towards your hips. And again, inhale through your nose, let your ribs expand out sideways into your hands. Then exhale out through your mouth, drawing your ribs in and down towards your hips. Two more times, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. One more, inhale, keep drawing your belly button in as you let your ribs expand out sideways, then exhale, draw your ribs in and down. Beautiful. Release your arms, reach your right arm up and stretch over to your left. Keeping both sitting bones rooted firmly down into the floor as you stretch through the right side of your body. Then place your right hand behind your head. Inhale, open your chest up to the sky and exhale, turn your chest down to the floor. And again, inhale, open through your heart and exhale, turn your chest to the floor. Two more. Moving with your breath. Last one, inhale and exhale. Then return your chest through center, reach your right arm by your ear again, nice big inhale, and then exhale, let's switch sides. Reach your left arm up and stretch over to the right, keeping both sitting bones rooted down into the floor. Then place your left hand behind your head Inhale, open your chest to the sky. Exhale, turn your chest to the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more. Really connecting with your breath here. Last one, nice big inhale and nice big exhale. Then return through center, stretch your left arm by your ear. Inhale and exhale, come back up to seat it. Let's now take our legs out in front of us. Make sure that your knees are bent and your feet are hip distance apart. Hold on to the back of your thighs, take a nice inhale, then exhale, round your spine back and drop your ribs down towards your hips, slightly tucking your pelvis under. Inhale, come up, lengthen through your spine, then exhale, round back. Coming into your C curve. Inhale, lengthen. Let's do two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Keeping your shoulders down. Let's add on this time. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Then exhale, round back. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, exhale, lower, and then inhale, come back up. And again, exhale, round back, ribs to hips. Release your left arm on your inhale, exhale, lower. Release your right arm on your inhale, exhale, lower. Then inhale, roll back up and lengthen your spine. Let's do two more like this. Try to keep your shoulders down and back really using the strength of your abdominals here. Last one, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round back, release your left arm, release your right arm, and then come back up to seated. Take another big inhale, really reach up through the crown of your head, and then this time on your exhale, roll yourself down onto your back, vertebra by vertebra. Keeping your knees bent and your feet hip distance apart, rest your head on the mat and reach your arms up to the sky in line with your shoulders. On your exhale, 
Using your lower abdominals, press your lower back gently down into the floor. Then inhale, release, finding a little pocket of air between your lower back and the floor. And again, exhale, imprint your spine, press your lower back down to the floor. Then inhale, come to a neutral spine with a little pocket of air underneath your lower back. Two more, exhale, imprint your spine, then inhale, release to neutral. One more, exhale, imprint, and inhale, neutral. Keeping that neutral position now, really drawing your belly button down towards the floor. Let's reach our left arm back by our ear on our exhale, then inhale, return through center. Exhale, reach your right arm back, keep your ribs drawing down, inhale, back through center. Two more like this. Exhale, reach your left arm back, inhale, center, Exhale, reach your right arm back. Inhale, center. Now stay with this, or if you want more of a challenge, imprint your spine, and then lift your legs to a tabletop position, making sure your knees are stacked over your hips. Let's repeat. Exhale, reach your left arm back, ribs to hips. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach your right arm back. Inhale, center. Four more. Really focusing on not flaring through your rib cage. So really think of dropping your ribs down towards your hips and keeping your lower back gently pressing down into the mat. Last one. Well done. Keep both arms reaching up to the sky now. On your exhale, tap your left toes down to the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap your right toes. Inhale, center. Two more like this. Keep your lower back down into the floor. Well done. Now stay with that or let's add our arms. So reach your right arm back as you tap your left toes down, return through center. Then reach your left arm back as you tap your right toes down and inhale center. Keep going. Exhale, tap, reach back, inhale center, exhale, tap, Reach back, inhale, center. Just two more like this. And last one. Well done. Pull your knees into your chest and just hug your knees in for a moment. Then place your feet down on the floor, hip distance apart, and shuffle them in towards your glutes so that you can tickle the backs of your feet with your fingertips. Then on your exhale, imprint your spine, tuck your hips under and lift your hips up to a bridge position, really pressing down through your heels. On your inhale, lower your hips down, exhale, press them up. So inhale, lower, exhale, press. Six more. Really focus on pressing down through the heels of your feet and squeezing your glutes. Three more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And last one. Now hold your hips at the top. On your inhale, lift both heels off the floor. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Six more. Really focus on keeping your hips still tucking your hips under slightly and squeezing your glutes. This takes a lot of control. Two more, you can do it. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And on this last one, hold your heels lifted. Keep your hands on the floor, or if you want a challenge, reach your arms up to the sky. Inhale, lower your hips down, exhale, press up. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. So this time you are pressing down through the balls of your feet, still squeezing your glutes and tucking your hips under as you lift your hips up. Three more, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, two. And last one, let's hold our hips lifted and take little pulses just for 10 and nine. Nice, exhale and exhale, six more, five, 
four, really press down through the balls of your feet. Two more. And last one, hold your hips high, lower your heels, squeeze your glutes one last time, and then roll your hips back down, vertebra by vertebra. Let's interlace our fingers now and place our hands behind our head with our elbows wide. Find your neutral spine, so really draw your navel down towards the mat, but keep a little pocket of air between your lower back and the floor. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, lift your head and shoulders up, dropping your ribs down to your hips. Then inhale, lower back down. So exhale, curl up, keeping your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest. Inhale, lower. Just two more like this before we add on. And last one. Let's hold at the top. On your exhale, twist to the left, Pull your left knee to your right elbow, then inhale, return through center. Exhale, twist to the right, inhale, center. Keep going. Really trying to draw your elbow all the way to your knee using the strength of your obliques. Keep your elbows nice and wide. Just two more. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Now keep both feet on the floor and let's just twist it out. You twist to the left and then to the right. Nice exhale and exhale. Just six more, five, four. Can you lift up a little bit higher? Two and one. Excellent job. Rest your head, hug your knees in and take a little breather. Then from here, make a tight ball with your body Hold on to the tops of your legs, lift your head and shoulders and rock yourself up to seat it. Let's keep our knees bent in front of us with our feet hip distance apart. And this time let's flex our feet, drawing our toes towards us. Sitting up nice and tall, place the palms of your hands down by your side. Take a nice inhale. Then on your exhale, tuck your chin in Slide your hands forward towards your heels. Really reach past your feet as far as you can. Then inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale, lower your arms down. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach forward. Really lengthen your spine. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, release your arms down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach forward, drawing your navel back. Inhale, sit up tall and exhale, release your arms down. Just two more. Can you reach forward a little bit further past your toes? And last one, inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, sit up tall. And this time, exhale, release your arms out by your side in line with your shoulders. Then on your exhale, twist to the left, taking two exhales. Then inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. <sighs> inhale, center. Keep going, really taking those nice big exhales. Keep sitting up super tall. Two more, exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. Beautiful, take your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointed forward. Walk your feet in and then press your hips up, coming into a beautiful stretch for your hips and for your shoulders. Take a nice big inhale, open through your heart and exhale, release your hips down. Cross your feet now and let's come into a tabletop position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Really draw your belly button up towards your spine, then extend your left leg back behind you, flex your foot, finding length through your spine, then lift your leg up and point your toe. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, pull your knee in towards your chest and inhale, extend back. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Six more. 
So I really want you to focus on keeping your spine super straight. And as you pull your knee in towards your chest, you're really focusing on dropping your ribs down to your hips. Two more. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Last one. Good job. Hold your leg extended. Let's do rainbow legs. So tap your toes over to the right, lift, then to the left and lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Six more. Keep drawing your navel in and make sure that your hips are still parallel to the floor. So be careful that you're not rocking through your hips or rocking through your body. You're really using your core to stabilize yourself here. Good job, just one more. Inhale, tap to the right, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap to the left, exhale, lift. From here, place your foot down for a moment and let's pivot onto our right knee and our right hand, coming into a side kneeling position. Reach your left arm up to the sky and let's take a combo. Exhale, wrap your waist, inhale, open, then exhale, lift your leg and inhale, lower. So exhale, wrap, inhale, open, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Just six more like this. You don't have to lift your leg very high. It's more important that you're keeping your leg in line with your body and that you're still focusing on dropping your ribs down towards your hips. Posture and technique is always the most important thing. Let's do one more. And now hold your leg lifted, reach your left arm by your ear and let's take little pulses up and up. Nice exhale and exhale. Just six more, five, four, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Well done. Release your leg down, bend your knees to the left, then inhale, reach your right arm up, and exhale, side bend over to the left. Well done. Let's take it straight to the other side now. No time to waste. So return to your hands and your knees. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips, and that you're really drawing your navel in. Then extend your right leg back, find the length through your spine first, and then lift your leg and point your toes. And on your exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Six more. Keep your neck nice and long. So keep your gaze just in front of your fingertips. Three more. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Two. And last one, hold your leg extended. Let's tap our toes to the left, lift, tap to the right and lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Really focus on keeping everything else still as you move the leg. So engage your core, draw your navel in and drop your ribs down to your hips. You're doing really well. Keep finding beautiful length through your spine. Just one more. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Set your foot down for a moment and let's pivot into our side kneeling position. So make sure that your left hand is underneath your left shoulder. Reach your right arm up to the sky and let's take our combo. Exhale, wrap the waist. Inhale, open, exhale, lift your leg, inhale, lower. So exhale as you wrap, inhale as you open, exhale, lift the leg and inhale, lower. Just six more like this. Moving at your own pace here and really following your breath. So exhale, wrap, inhale, open, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Really keep your ribs in, always thinking of that core engagement. Two more. 
you can do it. And on this last one, let's hold our leg lifted and reach our right arm by our ear. Let's pulse the leg up and up. Nice exhale and exhale. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Rest your hips down, bend your knees to the right. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend over to the right. Coming into a well-deserved mermaid stretch. Then come back up through center, and let's now return to our hands and our knees, and carefully lower down to the front side of our body. Once you are down on your belly, reach your arms back behind you with the tops of your hands pressing down into the floor. Let your forehead rest on the mat and really focus on drawing your belly button up and away from the floor. On your inhale, roll your shoulders back, reach your fingertips back behind you as you lift your chest and lift your head, keeping your gaze down. Then exhale, lower your chest back down. And again, inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and exhale, release. Two more like this. Really keep lifting your belly button up towards your spine. Last one. Let's hold the lifted here. On your exhale, lift your arms up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Six more. Keep your gaze down towards the floor, keeping your neck in line with your spine. And keep lifting your belly button up. Two more. And on this last one, hold your arms lifted and let's rotate our palms down to the floor, then up to the sky. So down and up. Really getting into the backs of our arms and our triceps here. Just three more, two, and one. Beautiful job, rest yourself down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, and push back to a child's pose. Take one deep breath in and deep breath out. <sighs> then shift your weight forward, making sure your shoulders are over your wrists, coming into a push-up position. So shift your hips forward, finding a nice straight line all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. On your inhale, bend your elbows, keeping them in by your waistline. Exhale, press up. Then inhale, press back to child's pose. Then exhale, shift forward back to your push-up position. And again, inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, press. Inhale, press back. And exhale, shift forward. Just two more. Working our triceps here. Last one. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. And inhale, press back to child's pose. Then exhale, shift forward. Let's lower all the way down to our belly now. Release our arms back behind us again with our palms facing up to the sky. Then on your inhale, roll your shoulders back and lift your chest. Lift your arms up now and on your inhale, flip your palms out, reach your arms forward in line with your ears, with your palms facing in. Then exhale, flip your palms out again and reach your arms back. And again, inhale as you reach forward, exhale as you reach back. As you reach your arms back, really think of lifting up through your chest a little bit more. You've got it. Inhale as you reach forward, exhale as you reach back. Just two more. And last one. Hold your arms back now, really draw your navel in and then squeeze your glutes to lift your legs off the floor. Can you lift your chest up a little bit higher and just breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, release yourself down, press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Guess what? We are going to return to our tricep push-ups one last time to finish our class. So let's shift forward into our push-up position. 
On your inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press, inhale, press back, and exhale, shift forward. And again, inhale, bend, exhale, press, inhale, shift back, exhale, shift forward. You have six more of these and then class is over. Really use your breath to help you and see if you can lower yourself down into your push-up a little bit further. Really challenging yourself here. You've got it. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Just two more, you can do it. This is your last one, make it the best yet. Well done. Hold in your child's pose and take nice deep breaths. Just allowing all the muscles in your body to relax. Then vertebra by vertebra, roll your spine up to seated on your knees. Sitting up tall, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, straighten your arms, open through your chest and just take deep breaths here to feel a gentle release through your shoulders. Then carefully release your hands, draw your legs out in front of you and let's come to a seated position. Extend your right leg out straight, flex your foot, bend your left knee in and then cross your left foot over your right thigh. On your inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist over to the left, hooking your right arm on the outside of your left thigh. Then carefully unwind and let's cross our left foot over our right thigh, bend your right knee in and shift your hips forward until you feel a nice stretch for that left glute. Stay lifted and open through your heart. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. Extend your left leg forward, flex your foot, bend your right knee in, and then step your right foot over your left leg. Inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, twist over to the right. Really reach up through the crown of your head as you breathe into this twist. Then carefully unwind, cross your right foot over your left thigh, bend your left knee in and shuffle your hips forward until you feel a nice stretch for your right glute. Roll your shoulders back and open through your chest. Then gently release your legs and let's come to a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, just like how we started our class. On your inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Then other side, inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend over to the right. Feeling a beautiful release through the left side of your body. Then come back up to seated, place your hands onto your knees. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, open your chest. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your belly button, tucking your chin in. Three more, inhale. Roll your shoulders back, open your chest, lift your chin. Then exhale, tuck your chin in and round your spine. Two more. Moving nice and slowly and connected with your breath. Last one. Big inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Find your neutral spine now, sitting up super tall. And let's finish class with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. 
Thank you so much everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's beginners class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.